Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials and in this video I'll be showing you how to post status updates to um, Facebook straight from your application. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Facebook Tutorials just for the purpose of this tutorial. Now what we're going to be able to do is um, send or text or update your status from within your application using our social and accounts um, frameworks so we need to import them first so if you just jump to uh, build phases and then go to uh, link binary with libraries click on the little plus symbol and we need to add our social framework here so just start by typing social and add it and then second our accounts framework there. So we just add both of them in and then once we've done that we can jump straight to our view controller.h where we're going to need to add our SL Compose view controller to enable us to load up the um, Facebook um, view to update our statuses and obviously the action button for our button to obviously press to um, load it up. So what we do after the UI view, view controller we do the Curly bracket and press enter. Start by simply typing in capital LS compose um, view controller. Oh, sorry, first thing we need to do is obviously do the importation of our accounts and social. So start by doing them, sorry, so we do import and then obviously social forward slash social dot h and then the import of our accounts forward slash accounts dot h sorry I forgot about them so once we add them in now just delete the SL um, compose view controller so we do SL compu compose view controller you see it loads up straight away and then we do space asterisk and then simply my sl composer sheet and then we end that very semicolon and then we'll add our action button for our for the button to so do bracket I mean dash bracket ib action in the selector we'll simply do post to facebook nice and easy at the end of that there we do it and it with a semicolon. Now once you know it we can simply save and then jump into our view controller.m and we'll make a fair bit of room here so you can clearly see what we're typing out. Do dash bracket IB action and in the selector here we add our name of our button which is post to Facebook. Let's get rid of the extra there. So we do colon ID sender and at the end we do bracket and enter. And then we start by typing my um, SL Compose Sheet. This is our Compose View Controller. And we do space equals space bracket bracket SL Compose View Controller space alloc. So we need to allocate it. And then after the first bracket, we do space in it. And then end it with a bracket in a semicolon. And then press enter. And then we do my SL Compose Sheet again space equals space bracket and again SL compose view controller space compose view controller for service type and in the NS string highlighted section here we do capital SL service type Facebook and then end that with a bracket in a semicolon jump to our next line and we do bracket my SL Composer Sheets again. Now we need to set the initial text um, in our string here. So we do at symbol quotation mark, quotation mark, and that red bracket in a semicolon. We'll just come back to that in a second. And then we do enter um, bracket self present view controller. In the highlighted section, we do my SL Compose Sheet. Animated, yes. Completion, just put no. And that have a bracket. 
and a semicolon. Now, if we go back to our set initial text here, now this is when the um, Facebook um, pops up and we can enable us to enter our status update. We can either leave it blank or we can have some preset text. But I'm going to have some preset text. Simply hello. And then, um, so once you press our button, our Facebook um, will load up for our status update. And because we have our initial text set as hello, it will simply say hello already inputted in there. We can simply delete it and add more text from within the view once it loads up. I'd also like to point out that um, you should uh, only be enabled to do this if you have your Facebook account already linked to your device or in the iOS simulator. So if you just save that and jump into our view controller that XIB, we'll just quickly add in our round rec button, make it wide enough, rename it, post to Facebook. I'll just simply center that button and then make sure you go to files owner and link our action, post to Facebook to our button. I'll do something simple as touchdown. I want to do that, jump straight into the iOS simulator and build and run. Now before I carry on, if you haven't already, make sure your Facebook account is linked up to your iOS simulator in your device settings, or if you're testing it on your device, make sure you've um, entered your details in the settings in the Facebook section. So what we'll do is press post to Facebook, our Facebook form loads up, and our initial text which we set to hello is already inputted there, we can add more text in and write a load of gobbledygook. We can choose to cancel it or load it back up. It add our location, select whether we want it to only display to friends or friends of friends or all the other settings that come with Facebook and then we can simply post. And then once you've posted that will be um, set as our status update there. So that's simply how you um, update your status and post to Facebook from directly within your application. So I hope this helps any of your apps or projects at the moment. Uh, make sure you favour the video and make sure you like the video as this does really help us out getting a wider audience and enabling more people to see and learn from our tutorials. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. If you want to suggest any tutorials or if you want to leave us any feedback on this tutorial, simply send us a message or leave us a comment or contact us through our website or Facebook or Twitter. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.